Today's topic is going to be on prevention, and prevention is probably the most important topic we could possibly cover. I would much rather prevent than have to treat later because we didn't prevent. So today's topic is going to be on the prevention of premature aging, atypical moles, as well as skin cancers. So the most important thing to talk about prevention is to limit our exposures. So there's two things that go into premature aging, atypical moles, or skin cancers. Number one is genetic. And we can't really do much about our genetics. Maybe someday in the future, but not right now. The second big topic is on exposures. And the two important topics within exposures are exposure to UV radiation from the sun, or exposure to UV radiation from tanning beds. So we want to limit the amount of UV exposure that we accumulate over a lifetime. And the best way to do that is to use your sunscreens. I recommend an SPF of 30, and SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor. So basically when you do an SPF of 30, it means that you can stay out in the sun about 30 times longer than you could without the sunscreen on. Now, the higher the number of SPF, the more protection. But the difference in an SPF of 30 and an SPF of 100 is usually only about 1 to 2 percent more protection. And the trade-off can be that the SPFs of 100, really they just don't feel good or smell good on your skin or look good on your skin. And so people tend to use them less because they can be more unpleasant than the SPFs of 30. Find one that you will use. It makes no sense to get a sunscreen that you will not use because you don't like how it feels or how it smells or how it looks. The main ingredients that I put in my sunscreens are zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. Because zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, they reflect the sun. And I'd much rather use a sunscreen that reflects the sun rather than a chemical sunscreen that just changes the energy of the sun coming in. Now, if your favorite sunscreen is a chemical blocker and doesn't have zinc or titanium, keep using it. It's a great option. It's just my favorite ingredients are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So please, find the sunscreen that you will use. Please, use it when you're out and about in the sun for more than 10 minutes a day. Please remember that even exposure in your car counts. Please reapply that sunscreen every two hours while you're out and about. Now, Please also avoid the sun between the hours of 10 o'clock in the morning and 2 in the afternoon. That's when the sun's the strongest. And if we can avoid the sun when it's the strongest, that'll protect you even further. Please also remember to seek shade whenever possible. That shade can be from a structure, but it can also be from sun protective clothing. Whether that's from a broad brim hat or whether that's from a SPF sun shirt, they're wonderful. You don't need to put sunscreen underneath these products because whether you're hot or cold or wet or dry, you're going to be protected. And they're amazing. And they no longer look like they are undesirable to wear. People can't tell that you're wearing them anymore. So please look at the links below for some suggested products. The next topic is tanning beds. Tanning beds are considered as cancer-causing as cigarettes. And that's by the World Health Organization. That's a huge statement, everyone. People will tell you that tanning beds give you vitamin D. It's not true. They don't give you any appreciable amounts of vitamin D. People will tell you that getting a base tan from a tanning bed before you go on vacation will prevent sunburn. That's not true. You do not get any appreciable protection from the sun by using a tanning bed. People will tell you that tanning beds do all sorts of things that are healthy for you, and they're all lies. Tanning beds are horrible. And parents, the time in life where you get the highest amount of damage from either tanning outside or tanning in a tanning bed is when you're a child. So please do not let your kids sunbathe. Please do not let your kids go to the tanning bed. This is the most important time of their life in terms of risk of cancers developing later on. Next topic I'd like to talk about is prevention 
and this is for every disease state out there from head to toe from your mind to your body to your spirit guys what we put into our bodies will have a profound effect on our health please consume a plant-based diet with lots of fruits and veggies please look at the links below for some fantastic resources on what you can do to protect yourself with what you're consuming. Along the same lines as exercise, we have to exercise. That exercise needs to be every day. We need to allow our bodies to move. And the effects of that movement will produce health results in every aspect of your life. Now, exercising doesn't have to be uncomfortable, doesn't have to be expensive, and we'll put down below a link to a program you can do at home. It's what I do at home, and I do it every day of my life. It's also very interesting because exercise has been shown to build collagen in your skin, and collagen is what keeps us looking young. So really, exercise affects us from not just our digestive tract, also how we look physically, how we think mentally, and how we perceive our world. So the topic of prevention is vitally important. Enjoy your life. Life is too short to not enjoy it, but please do it responsibly. And I kind of use this analogy with my patients. When you get into your car, you put your seatbelt on. It doesn't really affect your driving experience at all. When you get out in the sun, please get out there. Please enjoy it. Please exercise. Please do it responsibly. Put on your sun protective clothing, put on your sunscreens, and enjoy a life less ordinary. As always, it's our privilege to help you become comfortable in your skin.